This review is brought to you in part by Riders Hobby Shops, where the fun begins. Stop in to one of Riders' two convenient Michigan locations, where you'll find a full range of the latest hobby products, supplies, parts, tools, and paint. Hello, and welcome to Ride on Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the greatest scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the re-release of the Three Stooges Model T Ford 125 scale AMT kit number 1012. These guys at AMT are up to it again with another great release featuring the iconic comedy trio The Three Stooges. This review covers that re-release and allows you to build two complete cars in multiple ways. This is a customizer's dream and you can build a stock pickup, a coupe, or a roadster or any version of the three. The kit comes with a cardboard display of Oily's Garage and the Three Stooges as a backdrop to display your finished build. The kit has about 100 parts molded in black, clear, chrome, and vinyl tires and decal options for a number of liveries. It's a skill level 2 for ages 10 and over, requires glue and paint, and the car is about 6 inches long, 2 and 3 quarter inches wide, and 3 inches high. Here is the box art for the 2016 release of this version. And unless otherwise noted, uh, I use Model Master liquid cement for most of the assembly. Um, there is some super glue for strength in certain places and some white glue for uh, things like uh, glass and windows. Um, mostly the paints are Tamiya acrylic bottle paints and some rattle can spray paints. Uh, there's also uh, sometimes uh, a airbrush used with the Tamiya bottle paints. The kit's instructions are simple one-page exploded views of the cars in pre-assembled mode and they require you to really have a little more experience than skill level 2 to decipher which model you should build in which manner. Um, this uh, picture here is an example for the stock build and this is for three different versions of the build so you kind of have to know what you're doing in order to correctly build these kits. Here are the decals for this kit. Um, the color uh, is good and the registry is good, so these will be nice decal set. In most cases, I find that the use of decal setting solutions are very helpful to make sure that the decals stick and adhere around contours. I like the micro scale stuff. It seems to be compatible with most decal makers. This kit was molded in black, but to help uh, painting different colors and finishes, I'm going to primer all the parts with a neutral gray color. First we're going to build the, um, the pickup truck and that requires a stock motor. So assemble all the pieces that you need to build the motor shown here. Assemble the halves of the block and the bottom of the motor and the heads. Then paint the motor black with a steel transmission. Paint the fan flat black and attach that to the front of the motor. The manifold is steel colored, attach that as well. Now bring together the parts for the pickup's frame. Paint the frame flat black and when it's dry assemble it with the rear suspension and the leaf there, leaf's there. Then add the front suspension. Now uh, add the steel exhaust and install the motor into place. The wheels were made of wood so paint those brown with some highlights to simulate some wood tones. And then you can highlight the bolts with uh, steel or a, a black color. Uh, insert a wheel into a tire for each one. Please note that the wheel with the closed back is the front one. And the one with the ring is the rear wheel. Use the metal axles and slide the axle into the suspensions in the front and rear. Then add a set of wheels and tires onto each axle. Now you'll have a complete rolling chassis. Now use the instruction sheet to pick out the parts that you want to use to build the version of your choice. Remember, this one diagram is for three different cars, so carefully locate and use just the parts that you need for the version that you want to build. I was doing the pickup truck here, so I pulled all the parts off for the pickup assembly. To avoid any shading difficulties and for ease of painting, I assembled the truck prior to any of that work. You attach the bed to the fenders and the tailgate to the bed. Then you add the cab and the hood. Now I add the grill and the crank. I added the windshield brake and dash too. 
The headlights and tag were installed and I also assembled the steering wheel and seat. For the pickup I used a DuPont black paint, just a standard black, and I painted the bed a wood tone. The seat's a light gray and the steering wheel is wood tones with a flat black column. After I had the base coat done I was ready to decal the model so I added the decals to the surface and used a little bit of the setting solution to make sure that it would adhere and contour to any features on the body. Now you can install the seat into the interior. To make the window look cleaner and crisper I dipped it into some pledge floor polish and whipped off the excess. After it dries it looks crystal clear. Now we can install the body onto the chassis. Slide the steering wheel into place in the interior and glue the front suspension linkage under the car. Now finish off the front end with the headlights and brackets etc. I wanted to personalize my car so I printed out an image of my logo on some white paper and then I just covered it with a piece of clear cellophane tape, cut it out and added the tag to the back end. As you can see even though this is a simple kit and there's plenty of availability for aftermarket parts by itself if you just give it some detailing and a little extra work you can have yourself a really nice looking Model T pickup for your shelf. Now they do make some of these uh, but there's not that much on the market anymore so I would grab one of these up and make it yours. Kit comes with a really neat cardboard cutout to assemble of Oily's Garage and the Stooges pictographs themselves. The car fits nicely in the covered area to make a display of your build. Now this completes the first car of the two car build. You'll have enough parts left to do a full second car if you wish. The second car is a Model T Hot Rod and as you can see it's got plenty of bling. It's got a basic motor and a sparse interior and a t-top but there's possibilities there you could chop the top or put in some colored glass add some different style headers and drag links etc but uh, overall it's a pretty nice looking model for almost a freebie in a two-for-one kit I think you'll enjoy it and the only thing I would say is it really begs for some wider tires in the rear this kit came with standard tires and I'm surprised AMT didn't put some in there but there's always that parts box where you can get some appropriate looking tires for this hot rod. The hot rod build comes with multiple choices for the engine so you'll have to choose the configuration that you want to use for this portion of the build. The hot rod build uses a dropped frame with mostly chrome suspension pieces paint the axle sections and frame flat black and install the motor first. Assemble the front suspension parts and attach them to the frame adding the front radius arms. Then assemble the rear axle and add the leaves to the frame then the axle and the radius arms and the shocks. Lastly install the exhaust. There are two different sized rims for the front and the rear wheels on this car. The tires are the same size though. The rear rims are deeper and paint the rim backs aluminum. Assemble the rim backs to the rim fronts and the short shafts are the front and the long shaft is the rear. Install the tires and note this kit really should have some drag slicks but it doesn't so the rear rims are really too deep for the tires. Insert the metal axle through the axle housing in the rear and then push them into the tires on each side. Now do the same in the front which will complete the suspension. This will give you the rolling chassis for your build so you can check the stance. Pull together these parts to assemble your interior. Now add the seats and the wheel in place and install the seat belts. Paint this as a unit flat black. The buckles on the belts are aluminum the boot and the ball on the shifter are flat black. Install the interior onto the frame and add the shifter into the transmission. 
Now choose from the available options to make the car of your choice. And then use your color choice for the exterior. In this case I used a metallic black from DuPont. Just like the pickup I used um, some pledge floor wax to dip the windows in to make them look thinner and clearer. After it dried I'm ready to install it. Use some white glue to install the windows into the cab. Paint the dash panel black with some white dials for emphasis. Now glue on the chrome trim panel. It's time to finish the front end. Install the pedals, install the body onto the chassis, and paint the grill steel and install that into the shell. Then install the grill onto the frame. Install the headlight lenses and add those to the frame. Then add the drag link from the suspension to the body. Now we can finish up the rear end. Install the tail lights by painting the centers transparent red and then, and then install them. Also add the fenders at this time. Now there you have it. The second of two complete cars in one kit. This hot rod is really cool looking. It reminds me of some of the early ones. It's a Model T unchopped top with standard front drop suspension. I think that it looks great on the shelf. Regardless of the versions that you pick to choose for this build, and even despite the fact that there's two complete cars, you're still going to have a pile of spare parts for your parts box. So here they are, side by side. Now let's face it, this is some pretty old tooling, and while the parts might not fit just right, and there may be some flash or ejector pin marks to take care of, you're still getting a great value for your money. I would not hesitate to recommend this for an intermediate builder. I wouldn't make it uh, available to a novice though because there's a lot of selection going on from the instruction sheets. The only real downfall of this kit is the rear tires for the hot rod. They really needed some racing slicks to make that look perfect. But other than that, they still look pretty nice on my shelf. We hope you liked our step-by-step -step how to build review and so that you don't miss any future issues please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're also on Facebook and you can find us on the web at www.writeonreplicas.com.